early morning, Sebastopol, California. The Walker Apple crew picks Gravensteins. The mid-August Gravenstein Apple Fair is only days away. Gravensteins were introduced into Sonoma County by Russian trappers in the early 19th century. The North Coast's moderate climate, ample winter rains, and moist summer fog is an ideal environment for growing apples. Gravenstein apples are seasonally one of the first North American apples ready for picking. The town of Sebastopol was well known for its apple orchards in years past. Many apple orchards have now been displaced by vineyards, but some family-owned apple orchards remain. Lee Walker is a third-generation apple farmer. Lee's son, Lee Walker III, and other family members work hard to keep the farm in business. That's a 1927 Model T Roadster pickup. I found it in a chicken house in Petaluma, and I restored it. When I was 10 years old, I decided I wanted to be a professional baseball player. I used to listen to the seals and the radio every night. I'd sneak a radio in bed with me. Mr. Walker went on to play professional baseball in the Pacific Coast League after serving in the Army. Later, Walker became a batting practice pitcher for the San Francisco Giants, throwing to Hall of Famers Willie Mays and Willie McCovey. Baseball was my big passion. After playing professional baseball, Walker returned to work on the family farm. My grandfather planted this orchard in 1910 and built a house in 1910. So there's tree behind you there is one of the original trees. It's over 100 years old. The Sonoma County Farm Bureau recently honored the Walkers as Farm Family of the Year. Mr. Walker sees wisdom in traditional farming practices. Our forefathers, they were really pretty smart in that they planted the land here and the trees and stuff according to what it could handle. Now they try and do things that they're taking too much out of the natural environment. Conventionally, apple orchards are dry farmed, not irrigated. Trees are fed by moisture from accumulated rain. We don't have the water in the area to irrigate. It's uh, dry farming is really the way you have to go. Dry farming saves water and produces nutrient-dense, more flavorful apples. People come in here then and they rave about the apples. The Walkers grow 27 varieties of apples on the family farm. Our apples are all given individual attention. And we don't get a big volume that way, but we feel our quality is superior. Because family farmers like the Walkers are invested in the land, they take care that it remains healthy in the long term. You really lose a lot when you lose a personal touch. After picking, apples are washed, then selected for size and quality. Fresh apples are boxed and sold to local schools and food stores. The Walkers also sell apples directly to customers from their farm and at local farmers markets. Remaining apples are used in the production of apple sauce, apple juice, and apple vinegar.
Keeping the business alive remains a constant struggle. As times change, small family farms continue to face the challenges of increasing regulations and decreasing availability of labor. The last two years now, we haven't had enough help to finish all the pruning we have to do or the thinning we have to do. And the harvest has been not what it should be. Actually selling the fruit has become easier. The government has this program of buy local and buy fresh, and it's made a big difference in our sales. According to the USDA, in 1935, there were over 6 million farms in the United States. As of 2012, that number had fallen by some 4 million farms to roughly 2 million. Southeast of Walker Apples lies Devoto Gardens and Orchards. My parents were hippies who both grew up in Berkeley and had this idea of moving back to the land, so they visited Sonoma County one day on a gorgeous day. Jolie's parents, Stan and Susan Devoto, bought a Sonoma County homestead property. There were a few apple trees on the property that my dad started taking care of and got obsessed with apples and started planting more varieties. And 40 years go by, and now we have over 100 varieties. When my parents moved here, most of the apples were being grown for processing. So the way the apple trees were being farmed was completely different from the way my dad grew apples and grows apples today even. He's growing for the fresh market and he found a niche in the Bay Area market for heirloom apples. Growing a bunch of different apple varieties is great because not only does it make the whole ecosystem on this farm happy, there's bees, there's turkeys, there's all sorts of critters who can survive and ultimately the microbes in the soil are doing better because of that biodiversity and creating an environment for all beings to thrive. The Devoto Farm now cultivates flowers and Pinot Noir wine grapes in addition to its orchards. Diversity keeps it interesting around here, plus it provides year-round employment for my employees, and that's the key. The Devotos and the Walkers are among the apple growers who showcase their products at the Gravenstein Apple Fair. Hard apple cider has become increasingly popular with fair goers. In 2010, 2011, there started being this huge movement towards craft cider. People wanting to know where their food comes from, connect with the farmers who grew it, slow food movement, uh, the gluten-free movement, even, heck, the vegan movement. <laughs> All of these things happened, really, what seemed like overnight, and it started an immediate demand for cider. Now there are about 15 or 16 local cider companies within the county, whereas just five years ago, there were one or two. A lot of those local apple farmers are cider makers now. Um, cider is a great value-added product for small apple farmers um, such as us. It helps bring an equal amount of value to the crop as selling it for the fresh market.
Our cidery is located in an old apple processing facility along the Gravenstein Highway. And in fact, this very building used to be an apple processor. And apples used to go between the south side of the Gravenstein Highway, which is where we're at now, all the way to the north via the train tracks. And now it is still processing apples in the form of hard cider. We receive everything in the building in the form of juice, and we ferment that juice. And then the juice goes through some processes of clarification, and then we blend it, and then carbonate it, and package it in our canning line. The Devotos and the Walkers are part of a long agricultural tradition. One generation passes down knowledge to the next. It's a farming legacy that continues to adapt to changing times while maintaining a close connection to the land.